So now let's work around with advanced text edit options inside of Filmora. So in order to do that, first of all, I'm going to bring in this text right here and then I'm going to double click on this and then you can click on advanced right here. Once you do that, you have the advanced text editing features which you can access from within this new window that popped up. So you can go ahead and replace the text as you want. So I'm just going to type in Tutti Tube just like this. I can select this and I can bold this out right here. I can italicize this or I can align this. To be more clear, I'm going to add in another text right over here as well. I can click and drag it. I can select this and type in keep on watching. And I'm just going to uh, press enter and type in keep on learning right here. So now what else I'm going to do is I'm going to drag it on the top. I'm going to drag this as well. And then I'm going to resize this out and keep it right here. Once I do that, I'm just going to select this out and then I'm going to increase the font size right here. Let's say for example, 100. I can also go around and type in the value that I want directly as well and select out the uh, font right here. Let's say I'm going to select blue right here. I'm going to resize this and align this out just like that. So what else I can do is I can go around and then I can uh, rotate this out right here. As you can see, I can italicize this out. I can left align this. I can center align this or right align this as you can see right here. Uh, that's right align, center align and I can justify so that the letter spacing increases. I can also go around increase the spacing of the uh, lines as you can see right here and increase the spacing right here as well. So what else I can do is I can go around and then change other option right here which we're going to see in further lesson. But for now, I'm just going to change around the color of the text right here. Once I do that, I can click and drag this out over here on top and you can see that the blue text is overlapping the white one. So let's say I want the blue text to be beneath then what I can do is I can go around into arrange objects over here on top. And here you can see that you have options like send to back right here. You have uh, send bring forward right here and you have send backwards right here as you can see. So let's just understand more about it as well. The other options that you have in this area is you can add in text of course, but you can also add in shapes as you can see. And then you can double click and change this around as well. Besides that, you can go around and add in pictures as well. For example, this picture is here. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go around and add in three pictures. So I'm just going to add this one in right here. Keep it here. I'm going to click on this one, add this one. This one image right here, resize it out, keep it here. I'm going to click on this one, double click on this one, resize it out right here. And then what we have is we, we have a series of layers right here, that is image layers. And now let's say uh, this one is at the top and I want this right at the back. Then what I can do is I can click on this and I can click on send to back. So it goes to the backmost part. I can go around and let's say I want this at the center. So I just need it to go back one step. So now in order to send it back, I can click on this and I can click on send backward right here. Once I do that, you can see that it gets sent backward. You want this on the front, you can click on this and click on bring to front right here and it comes to the frontmost area. Then I can click on this and I'm going to click on this and click on bring forward. Then what happens is that I have this. So now what happens is that you can see that you can arrange it out according to what you like. And that is how you can work around with the work area of advanced text edit. And in the further lessons, we're going to see other parts of the advanced text edit options. So hope you guys learn something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.